Despite their pain, Eloy Gonzalez Jr.'s family says they are here to fight for his memory. We just want justice, you know, like I said, we just feel it's wrong in every single way, like I said. We have filed a... As they discuss the federal civil case they have recently filed against Get on the, ground. the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office. It is just tough, you know, just the way he went out, you know, nine officers plus the dog. Hands! That evening, deputies say they responded to a silent burglary alarm on Business Park Drive. Lay on your stomach! The initial report stated officers found the 41-year-old outside near a cardboard box and armed with a hatchet. I think there's a knife underneath that. Though the body camera video shows the hatchet was discovered until right before the altercation. Gonzalez's family says he had been homeless for about two years, but despite his mental health issues, he was still a father, brother, and a loving son. The footage shows a heightened situation. They talked to him in a very profane, uh, derogatory way, yelling and screaming, sticking the dog on him. Attorneys for the family say the deputies use excessive force. In a statement to KCRA, the sheriff's office says any loss of life, regardless of the circumstances, is always tragic. Law enforcement officers are often confronted with difficult situations. They must make split-second decisions based on multiple factors present in that very instant. The lawyers want the district attorney to file criminal charges against the deputies who shot and killed Eloy. The sheriff's office tells us the Stanislaus County District Attorney's Office has completed its investigation in this case and found no criminal wrongdoing on the part of the deputies involved in this tragic event. While video clips have been made public. Well, the footage that we saw was the footage that the uh, that the uh, sheriff's department um, selected to, sh to show us. Brian Landsberg of the Pacific McGeorge School of Law says we have yet to see the entire picture. It's really hard. You can't really tell from watching watching one set of videos alone, uh, whether it was appropriate or not. I think that's going to be the issue. In Stanislaus County, K. Seed, KCRA 3 News. The Gonzalez family attorneys say they would also like deputies to receive some better training and for deputies to be held accountable for breaking department policies. The sheriff's office told Kay that it looks forward to a full examination of the facts in this case.